NBC4 News. Other news tonight, a video making the rounds on social media is alarming to D.C. residents. It shows a man allegedly being assaulted by teens. Fox 5 here. Fox is in Southwest after speaking with witnesses. D.C. police say the simple assault happened right here along Half Street in Southwest, not too far from Audi Field last night around 11.30 p.m. The witnesses I spoke with say that the violence is unsettling and shocking to see. Video shows a man pushing away what appears to be teens harassing him in the district's Buzzard Point neighborhood. D.C. police say the victim did not want to file a report, but investigate. <laughs> yeah, running, he just run like a white man. God damn, man. This appears to be teens. This is why y'all can't win no gold medals at the Olympics in track, man. Look at Harassing this him run. in the district's Buzzard Point neighborhood. D.C. police say the victim did not want to file a report, but... In oh, my God, man. That's hysterical, man. That's not one of their finest athletes. Out. Yeah, no doubt. Um, did... He tried to high step. Oh, he trying to hit the Dion move. He trying to high step, man. Damn. Chase this white dude in, into his uh, upscale condo. <laughs> dude paying all that money to get, to get chased in the house, man. Damn. All that money you chased in the house by some goddamn proto humans. And pushing away what appears to be teens harassing him in the district's Buzzard Point neighborhood. DC police say the victim did not want to file a report, but investigators did after reviewing the footage and seeing the victim being assaulted by suspect one and suspect two. Okay. Nick Baker's car dash cam captured the incident and he shared it on social media. So I think it's important that everyone sees that um, these things are going on. As Shaniqua walks by rapping to herself, um, let's see what this Glider got to say, man. Glider, y'all be falling short. Y'all public statements on this crime issue leave a lot to be desired, man. I'm not, this guy doesn't look like he's going to be the one to rally the troops, man. It's important that everyone sees that um, these things are going on. Such young people are the, the perpetrators. And so we can't be too loose on crime. Definitely need to have some standards. Another angle shows one of the alleged attackers chasing after the victim and punching him on his side. Baker hopes the suspects are held accountable for their actions. So they're young enough that they can improve, um, learn that what they're doing is wrong. Um, so I hope that What's wrong with y'all, man? What's wrong with you gliders, man? What's wrong with you gliders, man? Why y'all be saying stupid shit like this, man? Is it like a a meeting y'all go to where y'all learn how to say stupid shit? Can improve, um, learn that what they're doing is wrong. Um, so I hope that his side. Baker hopes the suspects are held accountable for their actions. So they're young enough that they can improve, um, learn that what they're doing is wrong. Um, so I hope that, you know, being called out for it will be a wake up call to them. Georgie Britcher was walking her dog when she saw the situation quickly escalating. Oh, it was a very outnumbered situation in terms of a bunch of kids and one guy. Overall crime is down 17% in our nation's capital compared to last year. However, the numbers only mean so much when it doesn't reflect how people actually feel. For me, I am more concerned about how young the criminals are getting. I think that's what, for me, I have, if anything, the most issue with. D.C. police say they are investigating and looking for the suspects in this case. Now to that breaking news we're following out of no Prince William County. Police are investigating a shooting at Manassas Mall that left two people injured. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is on the scene now with what we know so far. Drew, what's going on? 
Well, on the threat is over. The ball's been evacuated, but the nightmare very real for the families that were inside Manassas Mall when this shooting broke out. We want to show you there are evidence markers. I think we did this yesterday. We did this one yesterday. Uh, we did this one yesterday. Uh, here we go. Shoot. Prince William County Police say three men are now facing charges for a shooting outside of Manassas Mall. We first brought you this is breaking news yesterday on the news at four. There was a fight between two groups that spilled outside, according to police. The shooting sparked panic and left two people injured in that mall's parking lot. Our Matthew Torres is back at the mall on Sutley Road tonight. And Matthew, we know one of the people shot is only talking to you and WUSA 9 about what happened yesterday. First up, how is he and what is he telling you? You know, he's doing physically okay, but mentally he's not doing well. You're about to hear from 51-year-old Mohammed Tahir. Uh, Prince William County Police say that one of the multiple bullets that rang out in this parking lot ricocheted and grazed this man in the back. But the victim is just glad that at least three people are now in custody. Man. Black and Brown Coalition, man. Working together, man. Drive, drive whitey insane, man. Mm, mm, mm. The police say they are 18-year-old Devon Russell and 18-year-old Joshua Hernandez. Both suspects are facing firearm and malicious wounding charges. There is a third suspect, a 23-year-old who remains in the hospital. That's because police say he is one of the two people injured in a crossfire. Investigators say two groups got into a fight in the mall's food court when they began to take out their guns. They fight, the fight rather went outside to the parking lot when they began firing at each other. Mohammed Tahir says he was caught in the middle. He began to run when he heard the commotion. He tells me one of the gunmen ran towards him aimlessly firing. He hid behind a car when he felt a burning pain in his back from that grazed bullet. And he was shooting just a straight fire. That guy was brutally straight fire, firing and uh, uh, people were crying and kids were crying and I, I thought they must have been killed 10, 12 people. This is the worst experience of my life. He looked like a white dude with a really, 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 really bad tan, man. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> this is the roast experience of my life. Mm. Twelve people. This is the worst experience of my life. I also want you to take a good look at your screen. Police are still searching for other. Wow. Sun burrito here. Wow people involved police released a compilation of screenshots of surveillance video from the mall last night police looking to identify everyone seen here so of course if you have any information call prince william county police a call give uh, them a call reporting live in manassas matthew torres w usa 9 yeah muhammad's life forever changed because of this one